are not physically able to get up and get out of bed and show up anywhere, yeah. not just church, anywhere. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm really grateful today that, you know, the Lord has seen fit to give me breath, to give me life, to give me strength, and to give me a sound mind that assures me that serving the Lord, even if it never paid off, it's all right. You know, if it never, if I never received another miracle in my life or another gift or another blessing, I'm still not cheated. I'm still in the best position that I've ever been in. And I, you know, really thank Pastor for always um, pushing us in that way without pushing us. You know, he leads a life of service to the Lord. Yes. And he operates from his heart. And he guides us with a loving arm of, yeah. of care and protection and um, commitment. And, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just amazed at how right. much love he has and how willing he is to pour it on us. That's right. um, you know, everybody knows that I'm, I've been in a, a, in, a process, in, a, in a legal battle yes. supporting my son who's yes. in a legal battle who's yeah. been in a legal battle for over three years now. And, um, you know, sometimes I'm not able to really sit in the experience because it's that painful. Yeah. You know, it hurts that bad to um, walk through what we're walking through right now. And, and yet, at the same time, the Lord is so good I know many mothers who would trade seats with me in a heartbeat sure will. just yes. to be able to fight for their son, sure just to be able to yes. look at their son, yes. just to yes. be able to hug and hold their son. And so I don't take, you know, whatever I go through, I don't, I don't take it lightly because it, it didn't have to be as good as it is. Yeah. You know, my mother always says that. I thank the Lord it's as good as it That's is. Right. As good as it is. Because, you know, there's a lot of yeah. people who are having a lot worse time than I am. Sure there's is. a lot of people who are suffering a lot yes. more than yes. I am. Yes. There's right. a, lot, a lot of people whose hearts are much more broken than mine. Yes. Yes. And so I'm not, in a, I'm not better than those people. That's right. I'm not um, better... I'm not better than by any stretch of the imagination. Because I received Christ as my personal Savior, I'm in a better position. Right, right. I'm in a better position. I walk in a spirit of love and grace and mercy that is in battle for me, that is All in right. battle for my son, mm -hmm. that is in battle for everybody that I love that I pray for. And I bear witness of all the people that you love and you pray for. I'm, I'm blessed to see the outcomes of the prayers that we sent up in the behalf of other people. Right. Um, and through this walk, that I, you know, my our pastor was already a great man in my eyesight. Yes. You know, the way that he loves and is so proud to be married to First Lady. And I always cry when I talk about this because we need to see what a man who loves his yes. wife looks yes. like. We need to see what a man who cares and honors his wife looks like. Yeah. We need to see that. We need to see yeah. that with our own eyes so that we can bear witness. And um, so I had just an enormous amount of admiration for him because of the way he loves his wife, because of the way he loves and cares for his daughters, yes. Yes. his grandchildren. Um, you know, you have to be really kind of off your rocker to yeah. not admire yeah, a man that's like right. that. That's right. And I'm not yeah. off my rocker, so yeah. I admire him, yeah. and I thank God for that. Um, so I was already in admiration and, and, a, and just enormous amount of respect for our right. pastor. And that was before he was my pastor. It's I rare. Felt like it's rare. That. rare. And, um, but once I became a member of his church, you know, I, I didn't know that that there was a whole lot more for me to see. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a whole lot more for me to witness and to experience. And, um, you know, through the, the, the battle that I've been in where my son is concerned, my, my pastor and my church family have shown up. Where's the, uh, yeah. oh, there's, um, or, my family, my, my pastor and my church family have shown up in ways that 
I know if, if I hadn't had the support of all of you, I would have been in the hospital by now. You know, my heart has been that heavy through this. It has been that hard for me. I would have been sick and broke down in a way that I would have been in the hospital by now. And that's not a testament of my faith. I, I have faith. I know God loves me. I know the Lord died for me. I'm human. And in my yeah. humanity, right. I would have been in a hospital by now because of the stress and the, um, the pain and the agony that I've experienced through this. But because of my pastor yeah, yeah. and my church family, yeah. I've been able to show up they and did. suit up That's right. like, That's right. like the queen that God created all of us to be. and singled out. We're yeah. all queens yeah. to God. Yeah. We're all queens and we're all kings. And that's why we look like we look. That's why we walk like we walk. That's why we talk like we talk. We are truly kings and queens. And God created us like that because he wanted to be glorified in that way by us. That's why our spirit yeah. and our yeah. hearts for God is so big. And so, um, you know, I... I, I I will never be able to put into words how grateful I am to our pastor yeah, yeah. for the way that he's, you know, I, I look at the video of the, the, um, the uh, doctorate ceremony, mm -hmm. and every time I look at it, all the same parts, I cry on the same parts every oh. time, because <laughs> I'm so moved every time, but, you know, and that's, it, it, I still am praying for God to make me fully receptive of the responsibility that it bears mm -hmm. yeah. and to give me the commitment that I need to walk in in order to show myself mm -hmm. approved for mm -hmm. the position and the right. commitment. Um, I am grateful for how Pastor worked and set things up for me to have my own television show. Yeah, yeah. I, I get to talk for a half hour straight without stopping and I do every every week. Yes. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. And I I thank God for that experience. But all of that put together does not describe how grateful I am that he has seen fit to show up with me in that courtroom. Yes. Court day after court day after court day. And how my church family, we meet here on the day of court. Everybody leaves their own responsibilities to the side. Because that's, that's what you got to do when you support somebody. Your own stuff, you put it down. That's what I do when I support somebody. I put my own somebody through something, yes. the way that my church family has shown up and been available to walk with me through this um, is the, the biggest act of love, one of the biggest acts of love I have ever received in my life. Right and I want you guys to know that in my heart of hearts, I'm so grateful. I'm yeah. so grateful. And I appreciate so much that you guys have been willing to walk with me for this part of the journey. Oh, yeah. And that you have seen fit to show up for me and my son, who oh, yeah. you guys haven't had a chance to hug yet. Yeah. You haven't had a chance to pat him on the head yet. You haven't had a chance to really hear him speak yet. Yeah. But I've claimed the victory. And I know that one day, he's going to come home. Yeah. And yeah. he's going to walk through that door. <laughs> and he's going to sit right here, right here somewhere in this church. And he's going to tell you himself, sure thank you. Sure he's going to tell you himself how much he loves you. And how much he appreciates you. And he's going to tell you himself that he cannot tell you how much it has helped him mm -hmm. that you have believed in him. I know that there are boys in that system who are innocent, who are getting washed, sitting yeah. down the river all day, every day. Yeah. That don't have nobody fighting for yeah. them. That, that, that say they agree to charges that they didn't even commit. Yeah. Because they know they're up against a, a, a block of an army that they can't defeat. That's right. They're innocent. Sure. Yeah. Innocent people in jails right now who are given time because they do not have the love, the courage, the wisdom, the resources.
resource to fight. They, they know that they're up against an army that they're not equipped to battle. So they say, okay, how much time are you going to give me? I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. All day, every day that happens. Yeah. So for my son to be in a position to not have to do that, mm -hmm. and to be in a position to fight against charges that he is innocent of, it's only possible because, one, God has blessed us with courage yeah. and blessed us with fight and equipped us with love. Two, because I have the resource to walk with him. Mm -hmm. Because all of you hold me up, I can walk with him. And because of that, yeah. I know one day God is going to deliver him. Yeah. And so I know that the reason you guys support me like you do is because of how our pastor has taught us to love. Yeah. Yeah. He has shown us what love looks That's like. Right. He shows us how it feels, how it smells, how it walks, and how yeah. it talks. Yeah. And he shows us that all day, every yes, he day. Does. Yeah. So we, in turn, get to do the same mm -hmm. that we have been taught. Yeah. And we do it well. That's why people come in here and they're changed for life. That's why people come in here and go, Woo! Oh boy. Sometimes it's more than they can handle. Yeah. They, they ain't ready to love that much. So they can't receive that much. Yeah. And that's a good thing for us. Because yeah. yeah. when it's their turn to feel this much love continuously, it'll be their turn. All right. And we'll be here waiting yeah. to love them. Yeah. My, my big sister, my auntie, just my... Oh, my auntie prettier than you. I'm getting on track. I'm getting on track. I love you, Uncle. <laughs> but um, I, I, I didn't want to, um, I just know that what I'm witnessing right now, God has not uh, given up on me or my son. And even though this is a hard walk, my my aunties walk this road. It's yes. not a cakewalk. It's not for those who are faint at heart. It's not for those who don't have faith. It's not for those who buckle right. under pressure. Yes. It's not. It's a hard walk. Yes. It's yes. a painful walk. Yes. But I know many mothers who would trade places with me for just one day of this yes. walk. Uh -huh. Just to fight for their son one yes. day. Yes. Just to hear their son's voice yes. one time. Yes. children and my yes, grandchildren. Yes. I thank God for the gift that he gave me to land me in this place of love. Yes, Lord. A place that I never dreamed I would walk in and yet I'm here willingly. I'm not court ordered here. I'm here by choice. Okay. And I thank God for our pastor who shows up and shows out in mm -hmm. all of our behalves. He, we are, he has no preference in us. He has no preference in us. He does not love any one of us more than he loves the other. He does not. I, I, I know people who act like that. I know how they look and how they treat people. He is incapable of doing that. And for that, I, I, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I want everybody to know that I love you. Amen. I love you all so much. I love you so much. I love you.